Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and today I'd like to share with you a very easy quilt called the Buzzsaw. And it can go by another name called a tessellating star, but the buzz saw is most commonly used. What's really great about this quilt is it can be made in any size and it can be made in many different fabric choices. You can use scrap fabrics, you can use two colors, or you can actually just use two fabrics. You can make it masculine and you can make it feminine. You can make it for Christmas and you can make it for many different occasions. Today, I'm going to use a star fabric and the entire block is made with only one block and it is very easy to make. So I'm going to make this entire quilt with only two fabrics and I've chosen this star fabric from Timeless Treasures. It actually glows in the dark and to match it up a pearl white. It sort of looks like an iridescent and these are the only two colors I'm going to use throughout the entire quilt. Now if you're going to do this in scrappy you need a dark and you need lights. The high contrast is what's going to make this really sharp. When you have a quilt that has two high contrasting colors and a very light in it, choose the lightest thread because it will not show through to the lighter areas and it will blend more into the darker areas. If you're to use the dark blue thread, you might see the stitching here in the white. So in this case, I am going to use a pearl white from Superior Threads and you will not see the thread at all. How much fabric are you going to need? Well, that is your choice. What you're going to do is have equal stacks. If you have 10 of the light, you will need 10 of the dark and 20 of the rectangles. Whatever your stack is, this will need to be double. So for this block, we're going to make nine stars. To make nine stars, we are going to need 18 whites at eight and a half inches, 18 blue at eight and a half inches, and 36 2 inch by 8 inch. So to start with we're going to make half square triangles out of the big 8 and a half inch squares and these will be used later. Place the two sides together, right sides, and draw a line from one corner to the other corner. And then take this to the machine and you're going to sew a quarter inch on each side of this seam. And once you've sewn on each side you're able to cut apart on that line that you drew. And Take it to the iron and press the seam to the dark side and this square should be 8 inches. And do that to all of the squares. Now this is very important that it did remain the 8 inches. If it's a little bit more, trim it down. If it's a little bit small, make it a little bit bigger. This is the whole key to this, that this must be 8 inches to start with. It's very important at this point that you make sure they're all stacked in the same order because you need to cut them apart and you're going to cut them all the same way. So you need to keep the order right. If you cut them in the opposite way, they're not going to nestle together. I prefer my dark triangle to be on the right hand side bottom. You're going to be able to cut the block apart at two inches a piece. So they're going to be two inches now by eight inches and you will have four pieces. So all of my half square triangles have been cut into two inch strips and I have them all stacked in identical piles. The next part is going to be sewing them back together but before we sew them back together we need to give them a little bit of a twist. So each one you're going to take and turn right over. Do a complete turn. By turning them over you can see that we now have all of the points to the stars. These need to be sewn back together. Take them to the machine and sew them in sections of two together first. Then when you have those units sewn together, even before you press them, sew that seam together in the center and you will have a unit that looks like this. So the four rows have been sewn back together and press the seams going towards the larger dark one. So they're all going to go in this direction. Now we can take that extra stack that we put aside and we will be able to sew them right up against the edge where the longer blue piece is or the darker piece. Put them together 
and sew a quarter inch. So the last strip has been sewn on. Press that seam in the opposite direction as to the other seams and that is going to prevent bulk from being built up in a corner. And when the seams are all pressed flat, this block should equal eight inches. And once all the seams are pressed to the opposite side, well, your block is done. Now to sew these together, stack the four blocks together all the same. And if you just think of it as a pinwheel to go all the way around, that is how the block goes together. You can also sew it together with the white in the center. Doing the same thing, twisting them around, and you have the white star. I like to start with the dark in the middle to do my four blocks, but it's your preference. Let's get all of these blocks sewn together. Once the four blocks are sewn together, you will be able to press the seams going in a circular motion. And by doing that, you're going to be able to open up this seam into a little square. And by having this little square open up, it's going to keep the quilt nice and flat and it's not going to have a bump here. And when you sew them together, you get these buzz saws or these stars. Now, because I sewed the blue together in the center first, the light is the color that's going to be on the outside. If I'd sewn the white together in the center, the blue would be more prominent on the outside. Now there is a way that you can put a really nice border on this and it just involves a couple of more squares. You can add additional squares to the outside that is going to make the buzz saw look like it's coming off of the pattern. And then from there you can add a nice big border all the way around and the bus saw looks like it comes off of the quilt. And if you want to have one side dark and one side light, you can add some blocks all the way down the side. And by doing that, the one side will be dark and the other side will be light. So there's a lot of different possibilities to put this together. And it all depends on if you're going to start with the light in the center or the dark in the center. And you can continue this to make it as big as you want. It's a great block to make. It's fun and it's easy to do. And it goes great in many different colors and many different fabrics. I hope you give the buzz saw a try. It's a great block. Thanks for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.